here guys is you've got the um, acetylcholine and you can see the, the it's in a powdered form here you've got the syringe and a needle to, ex to insert the, what will be saline into here to mix it um, and then you've got the pipette which is actually going to be used once we've uh, mixed it we, we extract it from the syringe put it into uh, the the pot here and then we'll we use the syringe uh, sorry this um, yeah, pipette to take it out and put it onto the chambers so I'll show you that in action now each little drug vial has a cap on it and to get rid of that cap you can just use you just flick it off you can mm -hmm. you can either flick it off or just use it comes up quite easily so that's that one now this one you need to use your nails just to get into the little groove can you see that little groove oh just yeah there. yeah so we're just gonna Lift yeah. it, yeah. there you go, and it's got that same thing. Now, what we're going to do for the acetylcholine is we're going to mix it with, um, to get 1% of the concentration of that drug, we're going to mix it with 2.5 millilitres of saline, okay? So I'm going to unsheathe the needle. Okay. So I've got here, I'm just going to go to 2.5 should be in the middle because it, it should be about two mil but we need more because um, otherwise it doesn't fill the chamber properly and now I'm going to put this in the center here so I'm just going to insert oops yep yeah, squeeze so that is fully and I'm going to keep the syringe depressed because if I don't it will make a bit of a kind of like a um, uh, splash yeah. like that do you see what I mean yeah. Yeah. so if I don't so you just keep it like that so you don't want that to happen, and then you just um, shake it like this. Make sure that it's nice and mixed. And what, while that's mixing, you can just do the same thing with the other. So I'm going to put the needle back down here again, um, and I'm going to do the same thing for the SMP. But for the SMP, we need to have five mil because okay. this is a 50 milligram. There's 50 milligrams inside here, whereas the acetylcholine is actually where is it? Does it say on here? Uh, no, but it's 20 milligrams, the, okay. the acetylcholine. So we're going to need 5 mil to make 1% of the solution, okay? Um, so just make sure that's there. And uh, Again, I'm going to just open this up to the top because we know that this is a 5 mil syringe. So there you go, I've got 5 mil in there now. And again, you can see here it's a powdered form as well. And I'm going to pop that into here, squeeze it, okay? and then just take it out. There was no splashing this time because I kept it held in. Okay. And I'm going to again shake it. In fact, you could grab both of them and just yeah. give them a really good shake. Have a look as well. And that does look, they dissolve quite quickly actually. Yeah. Now keep in mind that if your saline's a bit cold because you might be keeping it in the fridge, it might take just a little bit longer to dissolve. Um, but that looks pretty, there's no white powder in there now at all. So the next thing that you've got to do is extract that and put it into the, to yeah. these pots, okay? Now, the process is quite simple. You just make sure the syringe is in, put it back in again through there, and then we just extract. We're extracting it out. You try and get as much out as possible. Okay, so that's kind of sucked, sucked it out. Um, there's probably a little bit in it, and then we just put that into here, okay? Mm -hmm. There's, there's probably just a tiny amount here that we could probably get out, very s small amount, but I mean that, that's, that's, that's enough. So we've got the acetylcholine out. Now what we can actually do with this syringe is just throw it away. So I'll actually throw it into the sharp bucket right now because we don't need it. Now we do the same thing with the SMP, so I'm going to put it in and you'll see this is a different colour. Mm -hmm. It's an orange colour and I should be able to get about five mil out. I do have to, you're seeing I'm changing the angle slightly just yeah, so that the yeah. needle stays in there. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is get this out and put it in here. I mean, we've got more than more than enough. So that's in there. I will get the last bit out as well. What I will do actually is just put it in like this, that's it. So it's just getting that angle right. Okay, with that done, I can put that to the side, done, and then I'm just going to throw this away as well. Mm -hmm. We don't need these, we can throw those away as well, just clear off all of the mess. Now, essentially, 
you've got your acetylcholine and you've got your sodium nitroprusside. Now it's very important that when you come to put this onto the chambers on the arm, so imagine you've, you've got the chambers attached to the arm, um, you've got your acetylcholine which is the top chamber, yeah. the SMP which is the bottom chamber, just make sure that this uh, pipette is only for acetylcholine yeah. okay. and this pipette is for the SMP that you don't mm -hmm. contaminate them yeah. um, and, and that's basically it really that's that's all you need to do once you finish the assessment you can just take this pot to the participant scoop out or suck up the um, acetylcholine and the SMP respectively scoop it back up into here and then you can just dispose of these mm -hmm. um, uh, you know you can either empty them into um, so, somewhere else. So in fact, if you wanted to, you could keep the syringe, the syringes, yeah, detach the yeah. needle, and then just throw the syringes away afterwards. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Do, can these go down the sink? These chemicals. Yes, they can. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and that's it.